We are at the uh, Modix Big 120X. I do four foot by two foot by two foot, and I'm getting ready to do a pretty decent sized print. This guy is going to be almost four feet long, about uh, five or six inches high, and eight to ten inches wide. Uh, a few things on the Big 120 I've noticed. If you do use slicer for this, slicer is actually pretty darn accurate on the amount of material it's going to use. G-code analyzer is actually pretty accurate on how long it's going to take, but not accurate on the number of grams it's going to use. So in this particular case, we're looking at about uh, almost three kilograms, so 27, 73 grams there in the middle. And then um, the G-code analyzer is telling me 2181 grams and 27 hours and 40 minutes. So this is realistically going to probably take uh, about 28 hours, so pretty close, but it's going to be close to the 20, 2800 grams of material. Um, so that's about how big this is going to be. It's going to fit on this bed, I'm printing it upside down so it's flat. This is my back left rail piece uh, for a print that I'm working on. And we'll see how flat this thing can go. Now, since it's important that this guy be as flat as possible, um, I've got my blue tape down, my aluminum bed, which I'm going to heat to 50 degrees Celsius. I'm going to leave the lid open as per guys over at Modix. Um, the PLA doesn't really like the, the closed atmosphere with the heat on it, which actually is starting to make some sense. Got my cameras at the ready to watch the print as well as the amount of material I have left. And I'm going to use some 600 on this one because I really want this one to be pretty flat. And they're generally pretty flat. I'm gonna use some 600 grit sandpaper on here and especially scratch these ends up. It's not going to warp very much on this printer with a heated bed, uh, but I wanna make sure that it stays as, as flat as possible. So I'm gonna use this uh, 600 grit on here and then do some rubbing alcohol on it and then um, set my printer up for 50 degrees Celsius and then we're gonna see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, we're all set. Up to 50 Celsius, completely leveled. Starting her off, we're running at uh, 210 degrees Celsius for this PLA. Once we're running at 1.2 millimeter nozzle, so we just should be doing some pretty big prints here. And uh, we will see how this works out. Got a little bit of warping. Right. Very easy to touch. And this part's not a major deal. It'll do, um, and we got touch on the other end. We might do some 600 grit, but I'm sorry, maybe some 200 grit or something to make it rougher. All right, there it is done. So we have a piece that's about uh, 40 inches long, just over, just over 40 inches long, fitting on a four foot long bed. Um, you can see about four and a half inches high at the highest point, and about six or seven inches in width. And um, so this comes out with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle and you can see the lines, but that's not too bad, using PLA, uh, Hatchbox PLA, and some support material over here, which I'll need to take off. Shut the bed down so I can pull it off. And we have a little, just a little bit of separation at the end here. So that's probably about two millimeters worth of warping. 
and then a little bit on the other end as well. Now, what I'm gonna do on the next rounds, I'll use uh, some higher grit sandpaper to see if I can get it even flatter. But that's not too bad. That's with the, with the 12 inch uh, tape using um, just a 600 grit and then a little bit of rubbing alcohol. All right, so that's uh, my biggest print so far with my, my Modix. Big 120. And then finally, this is the piece coming off, so uh, upside down. So I, next time I do this, one thing on these, this big machine is if you can print this thing sideways, you can have a little bit better results. Um, I've done that before, but I was trying to do it with as minimal support material as I could. But you can see like this side came out fine. Um, the top of it, this is actually the top, this is what was on the tape itself. That's not too bad. You can see these lines in here from the 1.2 millimeter nozzle. I can fill those in pretty easily. Um, so that's not too bad at all. And the sides came out fine. And then the bottom side, to reduce the amount of material, I'll put this inset in here. You can see those lines there. But again, a lot of this I can fill in. You know, when I go to do some sort of primer coat, I can uh, use some Bondo on here, um, or epoxy, but more than likely some Bondo, and then sand it down real well, and that'll fill in any of these gaps. This really probably is not gonna be a final piece for me. Um, this is really just to make sure that this fits. And this piece here will slide into another piece that attaches at this other end to make a piece that's a lot longer. As you can see here, these didn't come out too well, but again, they're gonna join into another piece anyway, so this actually may help me. I'll take a heater on this, and it'll kind of melt it, and I can shove it into the other one, and it'll probably uh, bond pretty well. You can see my bolt hole here. And then this is my curve. So this was laying down here, and then had some support material coming up, which I've just chopped off. And you can see how with that 1.2, the definition is not awesome when you're doing a sharp curve, because I was trying to minimize the amount of support material. But again, if I were gonna use this piece, I could fill that in and smooth it down. Uh, it probably would be fine. But this, again, it seems like a waste <laughs> of uh, three spools, you know, three kilograms of plastic of ABS, but I gotta check to make sure this thing's gonna fit before I start wasting time. This piece took 20 hours to print uh, with 1.2 millimeter nozzle running at 25 millimeters per second at a temperature of 210 degrees Celsius on a 50 degrees Celsius bed. And um, I think I could probably speed it up a little bit more but if I tried to do this with a 0.4 nozzle, this piece would probably take about 10 days. So uh, kudos to the Lodix machine for being able to put out one gigantic piece of, of, a, of a print right here. Anyway, enjoy. I'll have more of these to come so you can see what I'm actually building. Thanks.